हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आरटीएल डिजाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम वेरी लॉ क्वेश्चंस ऑन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ऑल द मीन टर्म्स ऑफ एन इनपुट वेरिएबल आई एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट अ वेरी लॉ कोड ऑफ अ जेनेरिक मॉड्यूल व्हिच कैन कैलकुलेट ऑल द मीन टर्म्स ऑफ इनपुट वेरिएबल हैविंग विड्थ एन एंड विल बी अ पैरामीटर Now, without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, the first question is on your screen, where you have to write a while log code to determine all the min terms of a three-bit input variable IP. Just for your information, if input vector is three bits. then the possible combinations are 8 so output vector op will be 8 bits and corresponding to each possible combination one of the op bit will go high so at a time one of the bit will be high for example if ip is 000 000 then op bit 0 will be high if ip is 111 000 then op 7 will be high so similarly other remaining bits will go high as per the input combination Now friends you have to write a very long code for this min terms calculator you can take your time meanwhile you can pause my video and those who knows its answer please write it down in the comment section and we can discuss it there friends before revealing its answer just request to all of you those who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and if you really like this video please press the like button now let me reveal its answer friends answer is very simple perhaps most of you know it module name is max underscore terms where input vector ip is 3 bits 2 down to 0 output vector op is 8 bits 7 down to 0 here i have written eight assigned statements where op0 is equal to not of ip2 and not of ip1 and not of ip0 that means when the value of input vector ip is 0 0 0 0th bit of vector op will go high similarly op1 is equal to not of ip2 and not of ip1 and ip0 that means when the input vector has value 0 0 op1 will go high and similarly you can see the other assigned statements and at the end op7 will go high when input vector is 1 1 1 that means ip2 and with ip1 and ip0 op7 will go high in that case friends before proceeding towards the next question i want to tell you the alternative way of writing the same very log code here i have replaced the previous eight assigned statements with the new eight assigned statements now op0 will be equal to when ip is equal to 0 then op0 will go high similarly op1 will go high when ip is equal to 1 op2 will be high when ip is equal to 2 similarly op7 will be high when ip will be equal to 7 so why i revealed this technique because when we want to make the generic module to calculate the min terms of a uh, input vector having width n this approach will be used this approach will be very useful now let us proceed towards your next question friends the next question is on your screen where you have to write a very long code to determine all the min terms of a n bit input vector here ip is a input vector which has a width n op is output vector which should have a width of 2 raised to power n because ip has a 2 raised to power n combinations friends now you can take your time to think of its answer and if you come to know its answer please write it down in the comment section and we can discuss it there now i am going to reveal its answer friends the answer is very simple module name i have taken max underscore terms only as taken in the previous examples but here i have made this module as a parameterized and i am declaring a parameter n and in this particular example i am taking n is equal to 3 so that input ip can be equal to n bits now op op will be 2 raised to power n so to calculate 2 raised to power in very law we use double star 2 double star n meaning 2 raised to power n minus 
colon 0. So that means op is 2 raised to power n bit wide. Now let us see how to calculate all the min terms. For that I am going to use generate statement and for that I have to declare a gen var variable i. Generate and then I am declaring a for loop. For loop will start from i is equal to 0 and it will go till 2 raised to power n. And in each iteration I will increment i by 1. And then I am putting a sign statements. When I put a sign statement inside this generate for loop, it will replicate this. It will multiply these assigned statements as per the value of i. Now when i is equal to 0, that means op0 will be equal to ip is equal to 0. And when i is equal to 1, op1 will be equal to ip is equal to 1. That means we are making different assigned statements with the value of i. And that is our requirement, right? And we did the same thing in the previous example also. Friends, here the input vector width is not fixed. We can change the value of this n at the time of instantiation also. So I don't have any fixed number of assigned statements. That is why I have to use this generate for loop. And this is how I implemented it. Friends, with this I am going to end this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you really like this video, please press the like button. And in future we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.